fun with coding in Scratch 3.0. In this session, I will be explaining you program, Dodging the Ball. Scratch is a programming language, designed for children where they can make their own projects, and games. With Scratch, programming is fun. This is the program window of Scratch. This is menu bar. Scratch has three tabs, code, costumes, and sound. This is blocks menu, represented by different colors. Each block menu contains various blocks, in blocks palette. This is stage, sprite, and script area. Dodging the ball. This is one of the most common games around. In this game, a character tries to protect itself from the balls coming from above. If the ball touches the character, game over. The concept is not that hard to understand. There is a sprite in the bottom center of the stage. Its job is to protect itself from another falling sprite. The other sprite is a ball, which falls from the top, one after the other continuously. We have to program this sprite in such a way, that it looks like it is continuously falling. The job of the first sprite, is to protect itself from the second sprite. Let us start. Change the sprite. Delete the first sprite. Go to choose a sprite and select the relevant sprite from the library. Let's select Kiga walking from the list. You can use the resize option to reduce or enlarge its size. Now change the background by selecting choose a backdrop option and select blue sky. Let's use the costumes of this sprite. Click on the sprite and go to costumes tab. It has three costumes, but we will be requiring the first two, to show walking animation of the sprite. So click on the last costume, and delete it. Now go to code section. We need to program Giga, to move some steps to the right, when we press, right arrow key. And move some steps to the left, when left arrow key is pressed. When green flag clicked block, is used to start, so that the program can be executed simply by clicking on the green flag, on top of the stage. You will find, this command, from the sensing group. When a sprite is shifted from one position to the other, its x value, and y value, changes. But when the sprite is just shifted left, or right, only the x value changes, and the y value remains the same. This is why below the sensing command, we have used change by 10 command which is in the motion group. This means, when we press the right arrow key, the position of sprite changes by 10 steps to the right. Both these commands have been kept inside the if command. The next costume command, changes the look of the sprite, and makes it look, as if it is walking. Play sound adds the sound to the sprite's walking. If you notice carefully, below the left arrow key pressed command, change x by minus 10 block, has been added. This is because when the sprite moves to the left, the value of x changes to the negative side. The value of y remains same. All the script has been enclosed within the forever command. Click on the green flag. Then press the left and right arrow key on the keyboard to see the magic. Now let's begin work on the other sprite, that is, ball. Go to the choose a sprite and select the beach ball sprite. Reduce the size of the ball using resize option. The beach ball sprite will fall from the top to the bottom and then we'll repeat this process, from different locations. The job of Kiga sprite, is to move away from the ball. Let's write its script. 
when the sprite key ga was shifted from left to right, only the value of x was changing. But when we want the beach ball to move from up to down, the value of y will change. When green flag clicked is used always on the top. This allows the user to execute the program by clicking on the green flag icon. Set by 180 makes the beach ball go to the top after falling every time. Y 180 is the topmost area. The value of X, meanwhile, can be anything from the extreme left to the extreme right. In order to make the game more exciting, we want the ball to fall from any position as they are falling from the top. Set X to pick random, minus 240 to 240, command, shifts the value of X anywhere from, minus 240 to 240, and the beach ball will fall from all points of the stage. This block is in the operators group, and set X to block is in the motion group. Change y by minus 10 command, changes the value of y by minus 10, and is enclosed within the forever loop. Which makes the beach ball go down. Click on green flag. You will find that the beach ball is falling from the top. But it just falls once, and then again we have to click on the green flag. Now here, we have to add a condition that, if the ball touches the ground, then it should again go to the top. Use the mouse pointer. And find the value of y, when the ball reaches the bottom. Using the comparison block we will insert the y position on the left, and the bottom position on the right. This will set the condition that, if y is less than minus 160, then the beach ball should again go up. Extract the, if then block, from the control group. Now our game complete. But only one beach ball is falling from the top, which makes the game quite easy. You can duplicate the beach ball sprite, to add another beach ball to the game. Now click on the green flag and start playing. But, did you notice that the beach balls are coming together? Yes, they are. In order to make the game more exciting, let's add wait block between their timing so that they fall at different times now you must be wondering the game is not getting over even if the ball touching our character here we need to add one more condition to the beach ball so that as soon as it touches the character everything should stop and game should get over after the condition is being added your game is ready to play let's play the game